Hebs, what a, a, an opportunity for us to meet again. There's nothing that, that really blesses one's heart to be with family, to be with family, friends, and then all the Mount Horebian. Let this be another great day for you because God is alive. There is, no, there is no need for any of us to be miserable. I want to do some profession. Let's start with our profession. The first one, one, two, three. I found first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things are added to me. I believe in Jesus Christ and signs and wonders are following me. Surely goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life and I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Hey, Ziba, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a staunch uh, Mount Arabian. Nothing will move me. Nothing at all. So, nothing should move you in Christ. Hallelujah. The next profession, our procedure manual. This book of the law shall not depart from my mouth, but I shall meditate in it day and night, that I may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then I will make my way prosperous, and then I will have good success. Hallelujah. Let us now go into our season 2020-2021. It's a season 2020-2021 declaration. Powerful, powerful. It must govern how we do our life with God, how we live our life with God. It must, it must, it must, it must demonstrate. It's a season where we must demonstrate our ability to fulfill everything that the Bible promises. I mean, if you run businesses, let your businesses in this season. A grow bigger than anybody could have imagined. If you are studying, <laughs> achieve the best, achieve the best in your career. Get promotions, get promotion. Let it be a season of real adventure. Let's do it together. One, two, three. This is my season of faith exploits and divine adventures where impossibilities are transformed into possibilities through the faith of the Son of God. Hallelujah. I want to talk to you about a, a subject that I believe is very important. We all pray. We all want to have prayers answered. So uh, I've entitled today's message, Answered Prayers. Answered Prayers. Yeah, Answered Prayers. Because why should you pray and not have your, your prayers answered? There's no need to pray if you are not going to have your prayers answered. So let's just handle this is a subject very briefly and let it be okay for you for today yeah romans chapter 7 verse uh, uh, romans not 7 what should we what, what verse is it by the way uh, romans uh, chapter 4 yeah chapter 4 <laughs> It disappear. We don't allow it to disappear. Because why? We meditate on the word and we keep the word in our heart so that we should not sin against God. Yeah, Psalms 119, verse 11. Keep, hide the word of God in your heart so that this word should not disappear on you, but it will be fulfilled and you will sin no more. Romans chapter 4, verse 17 says, God who gives life to the dead and calls those things which do not exist as though they did. As though they did. He calls things that do not exist. Because those things are nowhere to be found. As though they did. When we say, not as though they do. Like when we do, you mean present. As though they did yesterday. <laughs> Uh, get to know what makes a prayer answered. You have to know what makes prayer to be answered. A lot of people are living in assumptions. They assume things will happen. They assume God will answer a prayer. No, 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 no. You have to know uh, how to get every single prayer that we ever presented before God to be answered. Listen to, to the nature of God. Remember, we're made in His image. We have, we have the dominion that was restored to us, the authority that was restored to us. So according to, according to God in his books, there is, there is nothing more that still needs to be accomplished. 
Because God has done all and has provided you with all. So listen to this verse again attentively this time. God who gives, He gives, there is a provider. He's your father. God who gives life to the dead. Something that is dead. Someone that has collapsed and died. Situations that they have died. God gives life to those situations. God who gives life to the dead. And calls those things which do not exist. And call those things which do not exist. As though they did. Not as though they do. As though they did. So to God, all is done and, and finished. All is in the shelf, ready for collection. Everything is in the shelf, ready for collection. Because if it did, it means it, it, it is completed long ago. Finished. I'm a bonus or say, finish and clear. So you may as well join and call things which are not as if they were. Just join the chorus. If you want to enjoy the chorus, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1 says, imitate God. Take after God. You are a replica of him. Take after him. I may as well. I may as well. I may as well just do the same. I should as well call things that are not as though or as if they were. Not as if they will happen. Not as if they're happening. No, no, no. As if they were. They were in the past. As if they were. They, they are there. Already done already provided mine is just to have access to them and use them if you have a pair of shoes okay uh, the clothes that i've put on because they already existed i already had them when i wanted to put them on what did they do i did not have to pray no no no, no. i did not have to wonder ponder around and and think sure well, i wonder uh, uh, when will they arrive no 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 because they were already in my wardrobe. I just went there and I picked them up. Then I put it, put them on and I come rushing. And I said, hey, by the way, I must talk to, 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 to my siblings so that we encourage one another about the things that God already has done. So that even, they make, even when they make prayer, they must know that they make prayer of things that are already provided. They are already in the shelves. And they must know how to get those things out of the shelves. If I did not know how to get these clothes out of my, my wardrobe, I wouldn't have them on today. So you have to know. You have to know. It's very important. Because that's why I also am adopting God's style. Because that's him who I, I imitate. I imitate God and I follow after him. I don't want to imitate people who are, who are flexible. People who are unpredictable, people who changes their minds as 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 quick as 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 quick as weather. No, I can't I can't I can't follow after those kind of people because it's very very dangerous if you do. People change his mind like it's unbelievable, and if you're going to follow after them, you will be shocked. So I can't do that. That is why I adopt. God's style of doing things. And I call things that are not as though they were. Things that are not in existence. I call them. I take that adoption. I call them as though they were. Because I know with God, you can't go wrong. If you, if you copy a lifestyle of God, you can't go wrong. You can never go wrong. You can never go wrong. If there is anybody to learn from, it is God. If there is anybody you must copy from, it is God. Emulate him. Be like him. I must simply and intentionally call those things that are not as if they were already there. As if they alre I already had them. You know, I already had them. If I have to rent in my bank, I have it already. Is already in the bank. So what I need is just go to go to an ATM and draw. Or swipe my card when I buy some things. Because I know I've got two rent. As long as it is within that limitation of what I have in the account. That's basically what I must do. Our problem is we pray and wait for answers from God. 
while the way of receiving answers that comes from God is to pray and then call those things which are not as if they already as if they are already there so I'm, I, how do I how, how do I explain this but I'm saying to all of us ne? I'm saying to you man Horebians and friends and those who have access to just this chat this is a chat uh, you may call it preaching but this is a chat because I just want to talk to you so that you don't live your life with without without having uh, uh, your, 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 your prayers answered. You can't go to school, come back, and live like someone who has no qualification, someone who did not go through proper training, because you, can simply, you can't simply get a job, or you can't simply get uh, your business going. I said to you, our problem is, we pray and wait for answers from God. While the way of receiving answers to your prayers is to pray, then is to call those things which are not as though they already exist. You pray and then you call those things that are not in existence as though they already are there. If you can follow this, you'll never go wrong. By the blessings of God, by the blessings of God, I, by the blessing of God, I, I, I have video cameras and all supportive systems and equipment that goes with them. I have them. Are they in existence? No, <laughs> they're not in existence. But I believe that I have them because uh, 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 they, are, they are in the storage of God. And I believe that I have received them. Let the weak, that's, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to teach you. Let the weak say, I am strong. Let the sick say, I am healthy. 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 Yeah, yeah. Don't allow pain to subject you. Don't allow cancer to kill you. No, 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 no. Don't allow cancer to kill you. Speak to, 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 to whatever kind of cancer that wants to, 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 take, to take over the throne in your life and say, I am healthy, I am healthy, I am healthy. And when you feel tired, say, I'm vibrant, I'm alive, I'm alive. I've got life in me. Yeah, yeah, I've got life in me. Don't come here and say, ah, I'm old. I'm already 62. No, 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 no. You are young. If God has been young from, from, from eternity till now, you are more young. Because why? You are made in his image. Amen. I say you are made in his image. So you can't allow the enemy to come and rob you. What is yours? Let the poverty stricken say, I am rich, and walk accordingly, and smile accordingly. <laughs> Nothing can bring you down if you know how to get answers to your prayers. I think what frustrates a lot of people is because they don't basically know how to get answers to their prayers. They pray, and they forget that God called them. Call things that are not in existence as though they did. D-I-D. As though they did. And then listen, let me, coach, let me uh, just precaution you. Let me just precaution you. Most of your friends, ne? <laughs> this is powerful. Most of your friends, because this works. This works. You, re you either choose to listen to a circumstance on your friends because... Most of your friends would like to see those things that you believe you had. If you say, I had this and that, and they want to see it. If you say you have a house, they want to see your house. They want to come for housewarming. If you say you have a car, they want the lift. Some of them, they want to come and dedicate it. Yeah. So that's, 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 that's something that you must, you must be careful of. Because that can make you move from, from what you believe 
you already have received because it is already been provided. It is in the past. It has already been done. It's already been done. It's already been done. We are successful. We are doing well. We are flourishing. We are not poor. We are not beggars who are givers. <laughs> we are not beggars who are givers. We are not sick. We will live because with longevity, God has, has blessed us. The Bible says God will do what? Will bless your water and bless your bread. And from there, he will give you a, a, a long life. You remember uh, 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 Exodus chapter 23, 25 and 26. And we will not be barren. It means we will be productive. Ne? Whatever we do, we will produce. Ne? Uh, whatever we do, we will produce. Actually, we, we are the people who must come up with the vac vaccine for, 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 for coronavirus. We must be the people who must come with the vaccine for coronavirus. Well, understand. That is why you must go to school. That's why you must study. That, that is why you must do research. You are the solution to the problems of the world. The problem is you are adopting the system that has absolutely nothing to do with you. And you adopt them as your own. And you start believing like the world does. And if you do so, you will never break through. You will never break through. Hallelujah. You will never break through. Sons of Manohar, friends, colleagues and neighbors, uh, 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 and family, you can never allow yourself to, 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 to be conformed to the standard of the world and adopt the system that the world that is frustrating our world so much. Hallelujah. I'm getting excited because I know that most people will allow their friends to move them from what they believe because they want to see it. Not that that is not the, that which they want to see. Practically, they want to taste, touch it. You must remember that is not what is important. What is important is what you say and what you believe. What you say and what you believe. That's what is important. That is what is going to turn around your life. The same people will come and ask assistance from you. The same people tomorrow they will be dependent on you. But for you to be in a position to assist them, you must start now to begin to say, what do you believe God has provided? Things are rapidly changing in this world. You may as well go with what will never change, but remain relevant and current in all generations. The Bible will remain relevant and current. It has moved from, from first century to the 21st. Now it's, going, it's marching into the 22nd century. And in this Bible, this word that God has spoken, the Holy Spirit has ever been fresh, ever been relevant. There's never been any time where God is never relevant. God is always, always on the cutting edge. Actually, he's the inventor of all kinds of fashion. Technology changes because it has all, all, all long been in God's heart. It's the full manifesting. You talk about fourth industrial revelation, revolution. It has all been in the heart of God. It just needs you, your body, to get it to happen. It is you, your body, that will get it to happen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Things change rapidly in this world. But God is ever relevant and never changes. Why? Because the world is trying to catch up with God. Do not be taken aback and get frightened by those who will call you crazy. I'm telling you, people will call you crazy. But when they need help, they will know where to go. If you stand your ground. <laughs> if you stand your, your ground. Soon they will need your help. I want to say to you, call that house of yours that is in a slum area, a mansion in the neighborhood of your own choice in the name of Jesus. I say, call that house of yours that is in a slum, in a slum area, a mansion in the neighborhood of your own personal choice. Call that sickening condition, health, 
in the name of Jesus. That sickening condition, health, call it the health in the name of Jesus. Call it health. Call it health. See yourself healthy. See yourself testifying. Getting, going to house to house. See yourself waking out of that bed, out of that depression. Be peaceful because you are a child of God and made in the image of God. I say you are made in the image of God. So call that sickening condition health in Jesus' name. People walk by sight. Don't adopt their system, their way of living. People walk by sight. They are controlled by what they see. People walk by sight and they are controlled by what they see. That's not the type of lifestyle you should adopt. Because you belong to the divine. You belong to deity. You are in the class of God. You are in the class of God. You are not only made in his image. You are a daughter. You are a son. You are a daughter and a son of God. <laughs> he gave birth to you by the incorruptible seed, which is the word of God. And God is his word. People walk by sight. You ought to walk by faith. It is God's idea for you to imitate him. He doesn't want you to imitate the devil. He doesn't want to imitate your friends. He doesn't even want you to imitate your pastor. God wants you to imitate him. There are a lot of doubting pastors. They preach what they don't believe. You can teach about giving and not be a giver. You can teach about healing and not believe God for health. So a teacher, that teachers who teach because it's their profession, not because they, are, they believe. That's why you find teachers who will be found in crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because they teach. They are professionals. Who's supposed to be living out of their profession? Who will be found in crime? They do not believe that what they have is designed to make them super successful. So that is why you, 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 you must follow God's ideas. You must be influenced by God's word as a covenant child of God. Because God is a covenant keeper. He has already provided. He has already provided. God has already made all that you need available. He is the supplier of good gifts. That's God. If you can fairly answer these questions, your problems of unanswered uh, questions is over. All that you need is at your disposal. I'm just about to close and I want you to answer these questions. Yeah, the first question. How long... Were you in your mother's womb before you were born into this world? How long? Answer, nine months. We're not talking about those premature. And if it was premature, it will still not be far from nine months. Nine months. That nine months is the answer. What were you doing for nine months in your mother's womb? What were you doing there for nine months? Ha <laughs> ha! Give me the answer. Give me the answer. What were you doing? If you don't have an answer, let me give you the answer. <laughs> I'll give you the answer. You were growing. You were growing. That is why your money's time was small. And it continued, it continued to expand. Continued to expand. Why? Because you were doing something significant there. You were growing. Every part of your body. Preparing yourself to face the world. Preparing yourself to come here and make a huge difference. You were growing. You were growing. That's what you were doing. And listen. And answer this. Were you as much as a baby in your mother's womb as you were a baby? After you were born into this world, were you a baby in the womb? As much as you became a baby even after birth, let me tell you, there were no difference. You were a baby before your mother gave birth to you. And even after birth was given, you were still a baby. The answer for that question is still yes. 
You were a baby in the womb. You were also a baby when you came out of the womb. Today, you are an adult, but every adult was once a baby. Every big business was once a small business. All educated people were once uneducated. Every successful people who were once failures, uh, at some point in time, they had nothing, nothing. We all start where everybody starts. When you are born, you are born with nothing. Can somebody over there confirm this by a big amen? Son of Manuharep say, hey, Did you share with your husband, ladies? Did you share with your boyfriend girls? Did you share with your husband, family and friends the excitement of the movement of your baby in your womb? The baby who was still in you, did you share that excitement with, with, with your beloved and ask them to touch your, 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 your stomach, to touch your tummy? Because you could feel the movement, you could feel the movement. What you used to call the baby is kicking. That's what you used to call the baby is kicking when the baby was moving around. And you would come. I remember when Mamkhani, before she got born again, uh, 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 Mama, used, Mama used to say, my wife used to say, Hey, this baby kicks a lot. Touch it, touch it. And I would, I would feel those movements. <laughs> I would feel those movements. Did you ever, out of excitement, ask the people around you to, to touch, to touch when the baby moves and put a smile on your face? Did that ever happen? I know what is the answer. Yes, 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 yes. You did, you did. Did you see the baby then? You didn't, but you knew the baby is there. Did you see the baby? No, that's the answer. Gentlemen, you too can get pregnant of what you desire from God and have it if, even if you don't see it, even if you don't see it. Bono, Bono, we are guaranteed that babies will be born as soon as the wife is expectant. Much as we do not see it, gentlemen, we believe they will be born and soon we'll have these babies. Mama Oren, Oren, I nullify that statement, but Mama, Mama Oren, when they are babies, hey, they give you a hard time. You know, they chow, they eat your, your resources, they spend your money and all that. And when they have grown up, they eat your heart. I reverse that in the name of Jesus, that our children are a blessing and our children are an asset in our lives. So gentlemen, Gentlemen, even if you don't see what you believe God for, you have it. If you don't see it with natural eye, use another set of eyes to be able to see what others cannot see. You can be pregnant and you will give birth, gentlemen. You can be pregnant with all the things you want for your family. You, 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 you don't have to be an abusive man. You don't have to be, uh, 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 you don't have to molest your, your children. No, you are a blessing. Conceive it. Conceive it and see it happening. Don't attach age to your side, to your achievement. Old as you are, you can be above 60, but you can still achieve more. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Just, just conceive of it and know that it's done already. Pray and know that it is provided already. And you will see it, you will taste it, you will feel it. When we expect children, when our wives are still pregnant, if you ladies are still pregnant, you know what is interesting about this? We even buy actually gender relevant clothing and gifts for them before they are born. I mean, you buy relevant gifts for them, gender relevant gifts for them before they are even born. Ladies, when you are pregnant, you already know you have a baby even before it is born. That you knew for sure. That you knew for sure. Even before the baby was born. And with the ladies, it's even worse. They, they miss their cycle. And they go for checkup or whatever means they use to verify if they're pregnant. Even when there is still no sign at all. They will already be convicted and convinced. They will tell friends, hey, man, hey, I'm expecting. <laughs> listen to this and listen to this carefully. Your vague prayers must stop if you want answered prayers. Your vague 
vague. Your vague prayers must stop if you want answers to your prayers. Vague prayers must stop. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you another question or can I ask you some questions to drive what I am trying to teach you about an effective prayer? What kind of a man, for those who are not married women, what kind of a man, what kind of a woman do you want for a husband or a wife? What kind of a man or woman do you want for a husband or wife? Do you want a stay-at-home husband or wife? Do you want a lawyer, radio DJ, civil engineer, chartered accountant, educator, or a musician? Do you want a pastor, an apostle, a prophet? What, what type of a man or a woman, what type of a wife or a husband do you want? If you just ask God for a husband or a wife, there is a variety of them out there. And it is not God's, God's, it is not in God's hand. It is not his responsibility to choose the type of wife or husband that you must have. That is why most of these prayers are not answered. Lord, give me a car. Lord, give me a flourishing career. Which flourishing career? Which profession do you want? You can't just go to school. That's why people drop a school and then become dropouts. Because they go and study, but they don't exactly what they study. So mama figure corner, but me 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 ma 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 me ma me mo mo mama me 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 ma ambo ma ma me mo 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 me ma bang and then they they just they just do like this and they, they point the finger at their career because they hear someone talking about this and that and they want to join in. Do you want to be a plumber or an electrician? Do you want to be a civil engineer or do you want to be a precision engineer? Do you want to become a medical doctor or a doctor in education? What do you want to do? Be specific. Be specific. Be specific. God cannot make that decision for you. No wonder so many people pray and prayers and their prayers are not answered. Give God the substance of what you want and delivery is guaranteed and will manifest. Give God, give God the substance, something tangible. Give God the substance of what you want. Describe it clearly. Articulate it clearly. Describe it clearly what you want from God. See it. See it. See exactly what you want. See exactly the kind of woman you want. Do you want a God-fearing woman or a cigar smoker? Do you want a God-fearing man or a wine biber? Who's going to give you problems in your marriage? Simply because you behave like a desperate soul. When you have power with you, Hebrews 11, verse 1, wants you to, 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 to put some substance, put some, 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 some substance to what you are hoping for. This is the conclusion of my teaching. Put substance to what you are believing, what you believe God for. Describe it clearly. Know exactly what you want. Don't tell me that you are 31 years, ladies. And you you are out of the calendar, therefore marriage, and then and, and then marriage it's yeah, you must just forget about it. No, no, the question is not marriage, the question is what to want. Some of the men that went after were just men that the devil deceived you to fall for. That's why you have a broken heart as we speak. That's why you are so resentful as we speak. Men, the, the problems you are having, you 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 you, you looked for, for only appearance. And that appearance that was appealing to you. And today, you are stuck in a situation you don't know how to get out. Situation you don't know how to get out of. Because you never prescribed. You never described and prescribed. And made a transcript of what you wanted. Put the substance. Faith is the substance of things you are hoping for. Give, give a picture of what you are hoping for. Draft it and feel it and touch it. And no, it is done. And if you know it is done, you have received it because it is in the shelf. Yours is just go and collect it. 
I love you, sons of Mandahore. I love you, viewers. It is not by mistake that you are listening to this powerful teaching. I call this just a talk from a man of God who has the heart to see the kingdom of God flourishing. And the kingdom of God will flourish when you flourish. Not when you are a beggar. I want to make a prayer for people who want to receive Jesus. You need Jesus. That God who has been saving is a useless God. You need Jesus now. I want to make prayer for those who are saying, as I meet myself. And you with little faith, I want you to take that little faith, that faith of a mustard seed. Act on it. Act on it. Apply it. And know that it is already provided. Those who need Jesus, make this prayer after me. Say, Dear Father, from today, I receive Jesus as my personal Savior. From now on, I believe that you raised him from the dead, Lord God. And in Jesus' name, I believe that he is Lord. Dear Father, my sins are forgiven. I am your righteousness. From today, I'm born again. I am saved. I am your child. I'm a new creation. All the things are passed away. I am beginning a life with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for forgiving me, for embracing me. Dear Father, you are a father to me from now on. In Jesus' name, amen. If you want a church where you will be taught the word, we, will, we are found, we are allocated, we are located and allocated at Kahiso Extension 6. The address is 11393 Hoy Street, Kahiso Extension 6, 119393 Extension 6 in Kahiso. Visit us and grow together with us and join the army of victorious people. I love you and let's do our profession in closure. One, two, three. I found first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things are added to me. I believe in Jesus Christ and signs and wonders are following me. Surely goodness and mercy are following me all the days of my life and I dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Hepzibah!